today's topic is faith. Now, I think on an intellectual level, we all understand what faith is, but how do you measure your faith? How do you know if your faith is strong? And by the way, if your faith is not strong, it's okay. All we need is a mustard seed of faith, but we can also pray to renew our faith and to help make our faith stronger and um, pray for understanding. And I purchased this Bible from Marshalls and I just, I think it's so cute. I think it's definitely for little kids, but um, it's decorative, it's purple. What more could a girl ask for? It's the New King's James Version, and I'd like to read about faith in this book, the Bible, and just to help create some more understanding and a foundation of what I'd like to talk about. And I'd love for you to share your comments as well. Of course, leave your comments below. And feel free to subscribe and share as well. So we're going to read in James, just to start out, James chapter 2, verse 17. Um, I'm going to read just a couple of verses to verse 22, just so we can get the full picture and understanding. But the main verse I'd like to discuss is James 2, 17. Thus, also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? But not Abraham, Abraham, our father, justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar. Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. So as we know, you know, Abraham, I don't have to tell you, sacrificed or went to go sacrifice his son Isaac and God stopped him because he saw that his faith was strong and his works followed. Um, so if you ever, ever have a question about how strong your faith is, you will be able to see your progress through your works. And if there is no works behind what you believe, that means that you have to question really how strong your faith is. And in all things, I say pray about it because God will help you through that and help you to renew your faith if you believe that your faith needs to be stronger. I'd like to share, you know, my, my um, testimony of faith. I am building this company, Miracle Prayer Mat, and it is going a little bit slower than what I had imagined. I thought that Oprah would just call me and leave a voicemail and say, hey, come on the show. I love to, you know, show your product and book to my favorite things list and, you know, maybe get some, some Miracle Prayer mats to my girls in Africa. And I thought that this was, you know, going to be basically how my company started. Or I'd just get on Shark Tank and they'd love the idea and all the sharks would be fighting over who who would make the deal with me and to make Miracle Prayer Mat a success overnight. But it hasn't exactly happened that way. I still have faith that Miracle Prayer Mat will be a success. But sometimes I do have to pray about my faith. I do have to pray about renewing my mind and keeping gratitude, setting my goals, being persistent, um, and just praying. And, and seeking my motivation of why I started this company in the first place. My motivation is to bring families together to help children learn about prayer. And this is my passion. So I'm not going to stop just because I have a bad day or, or someone doesn't like my idea. Um, so I can see through my works that my faith is strong. And it's not always strong every single day, but I will be persistent. I'll pray and um, 
I will make progress and I will meet my goals one by one. Let me know how you keep your faith strong and let me know um, if you ever had um, a time where your faith wasn't strong and how you turn that around. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.